What is up everyone? I'm Joseph Arding and this is my official audition. Am I supposed to look here or here? Like I can't, I'm from Ghana. That's where I'm from. Like that's my home, but I was born in Germany and then we moved to Colorado from there. And then my parents couldn't stay put. We moved to Kenya and then from Kenya, I moved to Tennessee and now I live here and it's great. I also forgot to add the part where I did live in Ghana for a little bit, but that's what editing's for. Okay, so I've been making videos for so long. I think my I started when I was like seven. You know when your parents get you those like little camcorders, like the little kitty cameras? Yeah, that's where I started and I just thought it was super fun. I just had a way too much internet access at a young age and you just like figure out ways to like make stuff. And, but then in like seventh grade, my school offered a Photoshop class. I took it and I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. This is like my new life thing. Ever since then, it just kind of spiraled and it's not slowing down for some reason. So how did I begin YouTube? First of all, this goes all the way back to when I was like eight years old. My first video was probably either a Lego video, a claymation video, or when I turned 15, I was like, wait, this is kind of cool. I started to like try it out and like try to find what I wanted to do, but it was kind of just like not, nothing was sticking. Just sophomore year of college, I just, was making a lot of art and i was like i could just film this and post it and then that's how that started so but then just like the videos where i was like just doing art were like doing like kind of good so 200 views go me and i got really excited so i just started making more and more and i started then this crazy little app called tiktok came around and i started posting on there and they the videos started doing better and so more people from tiktok came to my youtube and it just motivated me to keep posting but honestly if i was chosen for this opportunity it would be so cool because i could buy so many chicken nuggets no i'm just kidding but seriously it just would be amazing to share my life and just like what i care about with, with people because like building a community just means so much to me and like talking to people and like going through my dms and seeing how many people just like are telling me how happy they are and just how fulfilled they feel when I when they watch my videos. It just, it's like, I'm kind of getting choked up right now, but it's a weird feeling where you're like, I'm not as different as I feel like sometimes. And that's something that I just want other people to feel like. There are people like you, like you, there, your people are there. Just find them, go find your people. And I think that's just like the biggest thing that I think in this new, internet world we're all just like thrown into like i've been on this thing since i was like six it's been a minute like the idea that we all have our people out there and it just takes a little bit of work and like digging and just commitment to find your people just means so much to me and i want more people to find their people all right all right now comes the portion where i show you my artwork <laughs> honestly if i had to define what my artwork is I'd probably say like, if I thought of it that day, I made it that day and then I stopped making it that day. I like some of it, so I hope you like some of it. Oh, I did make that back there, but that was just like a trial of like this new weird machine thing I got. Okay, so starting off, this is a series I was actually doing for TikTok. It was my flag sneaker wall and each sneaker is like the colors of a different country's flag. They're all like super tiny and 3D printed, which I think is super cool. I recently got into 3D printing just because I needed something to do during quarantine. Like, what, why else would I do that? Okay, so this is another one of my favorite things like I've ever made. It's this skateboard and it's like zebra print and it has eyes and I think it's so cool. But like, I don't know if you can, I'll post pictures of when it was just done just so that you can get a feel of what it was like. like freshly done but the guy at home depot gave me like the weirdest clear coat ever and now it's like peeling so this is my keyboard farm that i started it was it's a series on tiktok that i'm doing lots of people think it's funny i think it's funny just because it's like super impractical and not very useful but it's fun so who cares so i don't know how much artwork i'm supposed to show but i'm just gonna go as fast as i can so this next series I did was inspired by this like really cool French movie called Les Planets Sauvages or Fantastic Planet in English. If you want to see, I recommend you go watch it. Like a play on the dynamics we have. Just the first one. I think it's. I'm gonna. Look, I'm just gonna show you guys. I'll, I'll probably put some like cut-ins of like me like spinning it around or something fancy if I can. 
next one in the series is Mushroom Dude. So it's just like a little guy with the mushroom. But yeah, it was just supposed to be super abstract and like fun. And I made the model for like the body, but like by myself in like Blender. It was like my first Blender project. They have little glove hands. That's like last but not least, one of my personal favorites, the little flower man. Like a few of his petals fell off, but we can fix that. So it's just like a little, little petal sculpture. And there's like three of them. And I think these two are the same size. And then over here, I have like a little Christmas Furby I made. I just thought it was funny. like. Why not, you know? And by the way, the sneaker wall is incomplete. I have so many more to add. Like I have to add these. I think these are super cool. I'll add a close up of that. These two, I love these. Like that's so cool. Uh, This was trippy. Like this was one of my favorites to make. I really like to like make things that like make your eye just like do weird stuff. If that makes sense. I hope it does. Then we have these. And um, all right, so I think that's the end of our video. Thank you for letting me show you my weird little world and like stuff I like to make and my weird hobbies and yeah. So I hope you had as fun, much fun getting to know me as I did making this video. Um, see you in the next one, I think. Um, follow me on all socials. I hope you had fun and uh, bye, bye.